It has been nearly two days since police vacated their east precinct in Seattle's Capitol Hill neighborhood. And now new signs are being put up by protesters occupying the area. You're going to see the autonomous zone and People's Republic of Capitol Hill. That's what the neighborhood is being called right now by those who are choosing to stick around. The protesters marched back up the hill last night after storming into Seattle City Hall. And that's where Kelly Greenberg picks up the story this morning from City Hall Live. And Kelly, this was another peaceful protest, but there are a lot of people waking up saying, what happened? Uh, what do we know? And if you look at the images, what you can see is, I, you know, this whole room here, the uh, entrance to City Hall was packed with people. And what we're hearing is that the doors to the building were locked. But what we're hearing is that they were unlocked by Seattle City Council member Kashama Sawant. And overnight, Sawant has been very active on Twitter, retweeting her supporters as well as other journalists who were here while this was happening last night. Now, King Five was there. And take a look at this video. It gives you an idea of what it looked like in the entrance to City Hall. The protesters, they came from Cal Anderson Park in Capitol Hill. And many went back to the area around around the East Precinct when this all wrapped up around 1030 last night. Now, once the doors were unlocked, hundreds of protesters went inside. The group had a microphone and loudspeakers where they could listen to speeches. Many protesters were chanting for Mayor Jenny Durkin to resign after violent protests between demonstrators and police during the last week and a half. Now, the city, for the most part, has remained silent on what happened last night. What they did say is they monitored the situation and they worked to, to keep the demonstrations safe and peaceful. And very much so, things remained peaceful inside of City Hall, which goes along with the Seattle Police's message for this week to meet peace with peace. Now, as far as those chants for Mayor Jenny Durkin to resign, she hasn't address those directly uh, as of this morning. Her office does say she's committed to working on police reform and what they are doing is redirecting any questions about resignation to what the mayor has already done about addressing the protesters concerns so far as well as committing to looking into police tactics moving forward, which of course a review of police tactics could mean changes in the future. But again, no direct response to those claims for resignation that you heard chanting out of this building just last night. Live in Seattle, Callie Greenberg, King 5 News.